Hi, so today I decided for my flipped video instruction that we would do something outside of the box, meaning that we're actually going to be outside today. Um, I just thought that if this is going to be an instructional video that my kids have to do with their parents because they are pre-K age, I thought it would be something that they would need to do maybe outside and it'd make it fun. So we're actually gonna go on a nature walk and it's gonna integrate a bunch of science and math all into one so that way it's getting the kids outside and having fun while they're also learning something educational. So here we so, go. All you need for this nature walk is literally a bag. <laughs> That's it. So and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna walk around outside in nature with your child and you're gonna have just a great time looking around at the different things that you can find on the ground. Now be aware the things that you're going to find on the ground may or may not be safe. That is why it is very important for you to have a parent or guardian with your child so that way they're not going to pick up something that's dangerous. But more than likely, if it's in your front yard, you'll be okay. Now, that's the beauty of a nature walk. You can really go anywhere and have this. Now, say if you live in the city, there's parks. There are things everywhere where you can find nature. Um, but if you live out in the country like I do, I am fortunate enough to have <laughs> like 20 acres around me where I can just pick whatever I want to. But we're actually going to be in my front yard just to show how simple and easy it is to do this. And it doesn't even take that long. It takes maybe 10 minutes. So here we so, go. First things first, we're looking around. And kids are going to try and pick up things that are different than the rest because that's the things they think are the coolest. So the first thing that they'll probably find is, ooh, look right here. This is a leaf that is green and brown. So they're going to think, oh man, that is the coolest looking leaf I've ever seen in my life. So I'm going to put that in my nature bag. So all you do is you just get out your bag and you just open it up and you just put your little leaf inside and voila you have your first little piece of evidence for your nature walk so then you just keep on walking and oh man there's another one and kids they they have like minds and eyes where they're gonna see anything and everything that is so cool to them and they're just gonna want to fill up this bag with anything and everything they can find so we're just gonna keep on looking and oh man this leaf is completely green. I wonder why it's that way. And you would just kind of talk to your kids about, well, you know, these leaves that have all the green inside of them still have all of their chlorophyll inside. And that would just start a discussion about chlorophyll and how that works with the leaves and how there's the correspondence between oxygen and carbon dioxide and how the trees give off the oxygen for us and we give off the carbon dioxide for them and it would just really start an interesting conversation so then we keep on walking around and you would look and look and oh man here's a stick you know kids love sticks but this stick might be too big so you'd really have to encourage them to be like oh well let's look at the smaller stick it has to fit in the bag and that would really help with you know the garbage and everything <laughs> because you know you don't want to have to have to clean up you know a bunch of leaves and sticks on your front porch because that's where we're really going to end up so you keep on walking and keep on looking and you'd look and be like oh man look at this leaf it looks so cool like look how many points it has on it and then you'd be like, well, while ago, the other leaves didn't look like that. They just only had one point on them. So you'd really talk about how they're from different trees. And that would be a good starter on talking about, well, how many different kinds of trees there are. Because this actually comes from a maple tree. Whereas the other sets of leaves come from an oak tree. So that would really start a curious conversation there as well. And this is just a really great way 
to integrate some science at your home with your own kids so that way they can be like ooh I want to learn at home and oh man they would find this red leaf and they'd be like that's just really pretty so then we'd walk on and I'm actually fortunate enough to have this wonderful magnolia tree in my yard so that would really start a conversation about well why haven't any leaves fallen on the ground around a magnolia tree and it would really spark the conversation about how a magnolia tree is actually an evergreen tree so I would actually pull one of these leaves if I can <laughs> well we've got a whole <laughs> bouquet of it now yay <laughs> but you would actually spark the conversation about how it's an evergreen and how they really don't lose their leaves but we could also talk about at the top about how there's a bud right there and how that will actually turn into a flower and you could actually go after this you could go online in your home and you actually look up different kinds of trees and how they're have different flowers or how they have different fruits that come from them and it would just really spark an interest in your child and how they want to get out into nature and look at the things that are around them and really generate that spatial awareness and of things that are around them and have them get more curious about what's around them. So once you are actually finished with your nature walk you would actually unempty your bag and you would just look at all the different things that you'd found. And this is a great way to integrate it into a math lesson. So we can actually match numbers to their quantities. And this is a big thing in pre-K to where they know how much a number is, but they don't know what the number looks like. So this would be a great way to actually integrate that into our nature walk and make it more educational. And this would be really fun because you're actually going to be using the sidewalk. Now, most people have sidewalk chalk at their home. I, however, apparently do not. So, you can actually use a rock. And just any rock will do. And it'll actually work on your sidewalk. Now, I've already written the number 8 over here to represent all 8 of my objects. So, whenever you would write your number 8, you would then go back and count with one-to-one -one correspondence to make sure that there are eight objects. So you show one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I would also have my child do the exact same thing in front of me so that way they I can know that they understand that one-to-one -one correspondence and that the last number that they say is the actual number of objects that they have. I then might go into talking about, well, let's take away our stick and just count how many leaves there are. So we would do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I would actually write the number seven. And then I would actually have my child write the number seven beside my number seven. So that way they're getting a visual, they're getting an auditory, they're getting a kinesthetic. They're actually involved in their learning and they're actually taking charge of their learning. Then once I'd finished with seven, I might actually take my two magnolia leaves and put them to the side. And I'd be like, all right, well, how many magnolia leaves are there? And you count one, two. And then I might ask my child, well, do you know what the number two looks like? If they do, have them draw it. If they don't, you give them that visual representation. You draw your two. So that way, they know what the two looks like. They know that it comes and matches with these two objects. And it's matching the number and the numeral with its quantity. And that's a big thing for them to know in pre-K. Once I was finished with maybe having my children copy the numbers, I would actually draw a number line for them. And I would just go one through nine. And then I would possibly be like, okay, well one has one leaf. So it matches up. So then I might go over here and get my two magnolia leaves and put them under the two. 
And this is actually also introducing graphing and organization skills, which is another big thing for pre-K to use. So this whole maybe 10 minutes that we've been outside really integrates math and science and really gets you involved with your child and it's not something bad you're actually outside you're not inside doing something that you just don't want to do and you're forcing your child to do you're actually outside doing something fun using sidewalk chalk being outside you're actually telling your kids to pick up leaves and stuff off the ground which you're probably not normally telling them to do so this is just a great way to integrate all of these different learning things but in a fun way for your kid to learn at home with you as the parent and you're just getting involved with your child. So I hope you enjoyed my flipped lesson. This is just a great way to give parents this opportunity to give their child a positive learning experience and for them to actually have that relationship for positive learning. I mean, and start at a young age of pre-K to where they're learning that, okay, it's fun to learn and my parent has my back on learning all of these things. And that'll actually grow that relationship with the parent and get them involved more. Um, and this is also great, you know, just to have fun outside and not be stuck inside. So I really hope you enjoyed my lesson. I hope that you enjoyed that it was out of the box because <laughs> it's outside. And I really hope that you enjoyed having that moment to just have fun outside rather than being stuck in the 21st century tussle of technology. So have a great and wonderful day.